Speaker McCarthy uh, accused him of, of a deficiency of leadership. Uh, what is your response to those comments from Senator Manchin? And is your point with the president's unwillingness to negotiate because it's unsustainable? A strong and productive relationship with uh, Senator Manchin. He's someone that uh, we have been able, the president has been able uh, to pass some historic pieces of legislation because of, of uh, the help of, of Senator Manchin. I, no, I, so again, they have a strong uh, relationship. The president's message is pretty simple and has been. It has been very simple this past several weeks, several months. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Way to have a real negotiation uh, on the budget is for House Republicans to take threats of default uh, when it comes to the economy uh, and uh, what it could potentially do to the economy off the table. We've been very clear about that. He's put forward his budget. The president has said, here's my budget. He was very clear. He showed his values. Uh, his budget is going to uh, decrease the deficit by a, an additional $3 billion over the next 10 years. It's going to make sure that we invest in Americans, that we lower costs. So the president has said, here's what I'm going to do. And not only that, make sure that the super wealthy are, uh, are paying their share. How weird was that? And so are we, look, the president and Senator Manchin agreed we must avoid default. And uh, just as President Reagan said, and just as President Trump said, uh, that when they were in office, we have to avoid default. That means House Republicans need to get to work and stop the delay and put a bill on the, on the floor that's going to avoid default. Okay.